people. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Now finished Previously one on Life is Strange. Whoa! Oh wait. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, Just you better it. come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. No. Mm. Well, I was going to say it was a finished one game, which is if we then going to start the second one soon. And same with this. Hopefully I'm going to finish this soon and start the next one soon after. But time for sadness. A little crab. As I said before, from the beginning, I know I've watched it being played, but now it being about three years ago since I watched two or three years ago since I did, but I know the rough story of it, so I know what's going to happen, but I don't know what the options are, which is good in the sense that it's not boring me just going through what other people have. So at one point I did restart the game because I didn't want Kate to die. So that's yeah, only once. One one mess up, I think, so far. Also I am blabbing, so this doesn't give try and give me a copyright strike. Later on. Why is there blood on a rock? Is that from the wheels? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. So, Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. 
Yeah. Well, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? It's the golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Mm. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. <laughs> None taken. That's why you shouldn't change the past. now maybe yeah 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 everything before that point that she went back it's a pretty high would be the same layer. but then on that would be feels like a high tech cell different. but I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me I know it's hard for them they're grateful you are here with them right Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. 
You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh no, heavy task. Where's the water? Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. That's a serious heat lamp. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Oh, the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. <laughs> Too many snow globes. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Chloe's message board since the act. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Well, I don't know, this doesn't yeah. make her remember. Joyce the and class. William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. Chloe is still a punk at heart. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. <laughs> Miss Blue. What wheels? Quantum leap. There's the old Chloe. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. I want to ask which friends, but... That's like, you have me. what friends? <laughs> I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill. <laughs> I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. 
Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. No pun intended. Uh, no pun intended. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. We can use the tissue. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Let's search the place. Nothing but medical supplies. Bingo. Ah, here's the DVD. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Mm -hmm. Time for some Blade Runner. I need to wash that. If this is actually like <laughs> the beginning noises of Blade Runner. <laughs> I'm glad you don't have to sit there for the full two hours and a bit. <laughs> that would be funny to watch their reactions to it. You fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. <laughs> You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? 
Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Her. No, stop, stop. Oh, I think the button got stuck there. to go over this reality soon. This is it. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Nope. So... What do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I 
hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Plus... You guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from Can his son, Nathan. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. It's no point being like, hey, you still with it's David? It's for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. It's, it's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Oh, Nothing yeah. here. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Yeah. Maybe it's in... Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her... I never heard much about William's brother. Yeah, I didn't see that on the wall. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Oh no, she remembers. I could give Chloe the choice happened. of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? We stopped growing up together. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. Come on, where is this? This is the bathroom. Oh, that side of the cabinet. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Uh, 
And away we go. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Yeah. So much money. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I'm... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? <laughs> no? I get it. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. There's no point in me talking about... No, I don't think Joyce's tears will cover all this. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Yeah, so you're talking about stuff to them that they have nothing... Nothing they wouldn't know anything about. Hey, how's David? Hey, you know Rich Lambert? That you're Finally. Just you, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Wow. Gutless bastard. 
I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fun, even if it wasn't another reality. Despite everything, they're still a uh, it's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to go back again, probably. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoop. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Please be an automatic response and I don't have to pick anything. I don't remember this option being there before. Because if I accept it, then I just kill off Chloe, <laughs> and I don't want to do that. If I'm like, I don't know. I don't like doing this, but I'm having to Google because I don't want to make the wrong choice. Good. Chloe, I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, 
But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. I'm sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college, Vaughn? Don't burn it. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. It's so sad. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
come back up. Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. The board. Hmm. All this information. So close yet so far away. Yeah. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Dude, yes, dude. that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or... Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be <laughs> a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Just death. Uh... Fast and fast. I can't abuse this can't. level of my rewind. <laughs> There's Chloe's mm. cash dash. Sorry, Principal Wells. As she said before, glad she took the money. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. What's in here? That's my Chloe. Back out as guns. Suck it. Well, Snowdo. That Snowdo always makes me think of William and Chloe. I'm just trying to talk. There we go. In intervals. So the music doesn't. That blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just... better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Yep, locked from the other side.
Merchant Stand. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Hmm. Yeah, I can go. We can examine the dead birds that should be out here. They might be out here. That isn't out here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Doop a doop doop doop. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Maybe. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. There's mm. more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Probably armed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Inside it. Oh. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. What's this? No, oh. just eggs. <sighs> Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Yay. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Yay, trophy. No, nothing moved. What can I use? What can I use? Nothing, apparently. Oh, 
that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Okay. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Use helmet. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Wow. Twin Peaks. Why has he got Twin Peaks? What's that say? Something, something to pay up. Score. Back to Chloe now. Just make sure I'm relooking everything. Oh, and the crowbar as well. Okay, maybe not the crowbar as well. I wonder if David is going to the party. It's Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Good. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I wasn't Total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you had bored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like yeah, me. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Knock. Knock. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. Mm -hmm. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. 
They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. <laughs> Mustard. Where is she? Where is she? Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Close, Victoria not Chase Nathan. might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. Yeah, yeah. I could have <clears throat> taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? <laughs> She's insecure. Hmm. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look Some like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan like... A tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Dink. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. Talking I want boys. you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. What bunny? <laughs> the bunny's gone. I did feed it, didn't I? I think. Maybe. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. 
That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Grr. to Jefferson be suspended. Temporary suspension. Or whatever it's called. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. I feel you Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Rose! <laughs> You're out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. It's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Hey, Brooke. I'm here as... I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. 
I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist... coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. <laughs> Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Come okay. again. Is the magic number. Magic number. Yeah, I could have guessed that being uh, his room, anyways. Monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. <sighs> I thought the Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, that's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Mm -hmm. I really hope they were all consenting models. That is so Chloe. Oh my God. Chloe. Be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shit. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Pew. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Hmm, probably not taking it. And probably not good with alcohol. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Holy shit, that's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... From who? I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> Let's see what Damn. Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. 
and why Kate will get justice. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nathan? Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Um. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> <sighs> You are so fucking dead! Uh, uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, 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 Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go, now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. We're leaving him. The option was leaving him, leave, stay out of it. Or pulling him off. I'm leaving it. I'm <laughs> couldn't dish uh, Warren again, so didn't want to do that. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. 
Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. <laughs> you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Kill. Right, this is what I was worried about. Because I know a gun is involved in it. Is it rather Chloe getting shot, the dog getting shot, or Frank getting shot? But I think now because we, we don't have the gun and he has the gun, should be okay. I hope. But I have to make sure I'm saying the right things. God. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Uh... Well, my asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, a chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Let's roll all the buttons. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life. Or deer. Well, I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh, wow. Well. So I could have done that. I didn't know. Th there are photos in sections. That's weird that I'm missing six of them. Six of them. <laughs> Oops. Right, so we're in episode four. So I could take a picture of rocks. Or feet. I don't want to go that way. Yes, you do. Go that way. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. No worries, sign. Guess no picture here. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. That's the point. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Give money. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. <laughs> And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh. Mm, I get mad. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. 
Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Nice. The three times I've watched this from different people, it all went a bit south. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Cool. No bad thing from that. You go over here quick. And that went really well. I'm surprised. I was expecting Chloe to go a bit ape <laughs> when he was like, I missed her smile in her life. I thought Chloe it might have uh, gone mad. Chloe, are you okay? No. I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Let's look on the murder board. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. The game is on. Yeah, yeah. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Wait, what I should do is look at Okay, the... Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. I'm glad I have a... I don't know. I have a book, but no pen, because the pen has now disappeared. Got it. Well, Is it Katie's and Katie or Katie's and no, it's Kate or it's Katie? I don't know. So Stella. So Rot. Bruce. Well, Rot is the first one for death. Uh. Justin. But no, just no one knows. Want anyone at the school? So Stella. Simon. Argus Diamond, but Justin Beagle. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's the ones that I recognize. So it's rock Spiegel. So that one. Oh, gosh. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Hydromorphone. <laughs> Molly special. So the main one I want to look out for is rock. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Let's say that one for death. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. <sighs> no. This is not working. Okay. So it's definitely those two, because that one's got... Oh. That one's got Nathan on it. Hmm. But then you've got Beagle on that one there. So it might be doo doo doo. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. What was Kate Chinkachun Tuna? So I need to. Oh. Okay, that's not. to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? There's a lot of numbers in here. Well. So that's for a definite. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? If there is a dark room, we couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. All oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. With that. With that. With that. Okay, Max. Nice. Let's blow this code up and go home. And then I got this one. So at least I'll investigate Thanks to them David's all. Thanks to I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. At least David was finally going after the right side. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Hmm. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. So... That with that. And that? Oh, you're treading water, mm. Otter. Try again. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. 
This makes no sense, Max. Yeah, it does. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Oh, come on. Because that's got the... Days, times, places. This has... That's not... So yeah, it's definitely this and that. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. <sighs> Fail. Abort. I'll have to analyze these plates in court. Looks like this is not relevant at all. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. And that's all oh, she wrote. There you go. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Let's right, start from the bottom now we're here. Let's start hacking. Okay, so what's that? Nine five wait, let's cross check them all. One 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 one. There won't be any of those though, it'll probably be the number that's circled. Nine five three five. Bad code. Hmm. Maybe if I write these down, it'll probably be easier. Right, so zero zero five eight three nine eight eight. Probably be easier if I did that. Five four two nine five three five four four three six five four three one. So one of them is obviously the pin number for the card. So that I don't need to look at again. So that one's none of these numbers. Got it. I'm a gun fused. So it's none of these. <laughs> none, of the, none of the numbers are written down as showing up on here. Now I try all the numbers zero zero five eight. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Uh, nine five three five. Pretty done that one, haven't I? You locked it, dumbass. Uh, four four three six. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Five, four, three, one. You locked it, dumbass. 
So it's none of the above, none of the numbers. Let's start hacking. Yeah, it says none of the ones on the paper. Hmm. I didn't try 1995, did I? Yeah. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay, let's, let's change it. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Hmm. That's definitely Chloe's car. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this one. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Oops. Yes, I could do that with that. I just need a third, so. Damn. I, I come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number. Oh, yes. There you go. Now we're I finally getting somewhere. Coordinate. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Don't say that's it. This is so in depth. I didn't know. I forgot this existed. Right. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. So Nathan or the Vortex Club. So anyone that's in the school. Wait, when was the Vortex Club thing? So he said there. Stocking up. So it's definitely this one. Black well, black well. Beagle, green bud. Weird weed. And that one. Maybe. Okay, hey, none of them are for Blackwell. None of those. I don't know two of them. But that's not important. Black hole, black hole. So that might be this one, this one, and this one. Oh, yes! Yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. And now, the phone. Her. Right. Guess I'll have to try all these numbers. <laughs> Zero one nine eight seven zero six eight. Oh, sorry. Oops. Seven zero six three. That's on both of them. So it might be that. One zero one zero. That's too easy. And eight six zero three. So let's try seven zero six three. Bad code. How about zero one nine eight? Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. And then try eight six three zero zero three. You locked it, dumbass. 
One zero, one zero. Oops. Bad code. I have cried every number. Besides, one, 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 one. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. I've done everything. <laughs> so this makes it a tiny changer. So... Yeah, I've tried every number. Every number. Wait, have I? Yeah, I have. Besides f 5, 4, 2. You locked it, dumbass. Well, I'm having to look this up. Because this is uh, really hard, and hope it's not one of those random generators. But then it shouldn't be otherwise. It's like five lots of paperwork. Nathan's phone pen. Oh. You locked it, dumbass. <sighs> so there's no way of finding the pen, you just need to... What's P-U-K? <laughs> what is this? So, eight, seven. Oh, let me get. That's better. Eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, zero, eight. Okay. Eight, seven, eight, nine, seven. Eight zero eight. Oh yeah, let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. What's up? Need the G. Yes, uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. <laughs> officially call you a psycho stalker is this from Nathan's father that's brutal yeah 
Yay. I have to pull all Take a breath, this wool. Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Right, so... So, this infamous party was the fourth. So... Party... was fourth... of... October. So that's the 10th. Do it at American. So that's month and date. At 8 p.m. Okay. So that's the, that's the important info. So I think on the 4th, which is that. And that was by Nathan. So that's the. Oh, they're both. Okay, that was after. So that's not that's not important that one. That was after. And that one's GBH. A lot before, so that and all the four at the bottom. So I need the fourth. There you go. And twenty. Okay, so that one maybe. So fourth before. That's not important. That's after not important. That's after not important. So it's definitely that one. So that one is what. Tenth to fourth and. Varies from ten twenty four to ten thirty five or thirty four or thirty five. Thirty four. Okay, so it's that. Now I need to look at these. Okay, so it's not that. That's within the time. No, that's the seventh. That makes sense. That one says that, that. Oh, just a sec.
Sorry, I was just writing down what more I need to select so I don't have to go through them again. Uh, 11 o'clock. Okay, so I got those two. So now I need to figure out what one's a dock. It's just like that one. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? No, nah, so wrong date. Wrong that time. beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan Into wasn't room. looking for Bigfoot. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. No, all wrong dates. Wrong time. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Yeah. That one maybe. Because that's got it's within the date period. Nope, it's wrong time though. Well, not really a long time. Not much out there. There you go. That's the one. Within the date, within the time. And this is what one's this one? It's that one there. Okay. So that's you. With you. And you. Yes. First try. Chloe. This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Plot twist. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. <laughs> Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. Call the FBI. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. Boom. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. They got the power. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Is this the end of chapter four? This is not the end of chapter four. We're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Just Didn't here, or? need to get in that barn. Light an hour ago. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Squirrel. What are you doing, squirrel? Kill me, squirrel. How many have I missed? Tons. Well, I'm not 
at any of that point yet. That one's definitely at the beach. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. I bet you can find it. Nathan's SUV? Oh. No squirrel likes me. door. Come on. Not much. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. Oh, no, Maximus. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez. That is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. The tractor. This tractor has paid its dues. Hmm. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. for anybody to drive out here but there must be wow sir talk about home on the range there's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys or does it nah it doesn't if a zombie shows up I have my weapon These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Ah, the good old days. <laughs> Whoa. That'd be cheap. <laughs> Eggs, bacon, sugar, coffee, cocaine, milk, a normal shopping list. Boring. Boring. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. Don't think I found anything. Chloe would make a great detective too. Well, let me see. Maybe this obvious store here. There has to be more here than this crate. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? No more secrets, Sean Prescott. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Maybe they're open the pulley system. Mm. 
no time for the rusty button. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <laughs> Minion. <clears throat> I'm glad she was able to move out of the way, otherwise that would have crushed her. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here first. No, okay, nothing, nothing here. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. <laughs> I need to hook this up to something heavier. to the owl. Hey. Did a thing. Wow, I missed so much. I hope I haven't, because that's the lot of photos I missed. While trying to look for photos. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. I have to get through this monster padlock first. So many haystacks, so few needles. Ah, the good old days. Hoot. It's a hoot. Looks sturdy enough to stand on. I don't know how. Here's the other end of the rope. Here's the other end of the rope. I was hoping you'd see something different. Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay, I'm completely baffled. I like how I can do like a investigated investigation. Hmm. <sighs> Bored, but I can't figure out what to tie a rope to. That was more into your ID. That's the first one that came up for this, so... Seems like I'm not the only one having problems. Wow. Didn't I forgot you can rewind time. I was half right in thinking that I could uh, use that. I'm moving and not pulling it from... No! Oh, you're pulling it. Good. Max Giver strikes again. <laughs> I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. It's time to open up. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Don't know what it Do would I even be need handy to have to see how weird this is. He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't... Two, five, four. <sighs> you can do it, Max. Two, four, five. <sighs> Wrong code. There are so many combinations. It's two four five two five four. Oh no, it didn't work. You locked it, dumbass. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Four five two. Oh, think, think. Four two five. Oops, bad code. Five two four. Wrong code. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. 
Hey. Oh yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Something the Prescott has. More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Can sure is. Keep searching. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Maybe they get constant leaks. Or or not. Definitely not. This looks creepy. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Okay, don't go looking at the oh, just that definitely. Son of a bitch. Well. Talk about tortured. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Imagine chilling in this room. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Good facial response to this. So it's like a Come on, disturbed let's see what this shit is face. all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Oh, Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning the dose search tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot, now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead, no way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it, please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Needles. Gross. This 
must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Let's get out of here. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Oh, she had the gun. I forgot about that. Oh, shit! This is like that eclipse! You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky! Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. <laughs> You're not listening! Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Forget about the two moons. One of which is obviously a... Tongue. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. 
Dude, have you been drinking? Well, <laughs> if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Half a beer. Yeah. This is one long episode. Hi, can I, I was planning to do an hour, but then realized it's an hour and a half, so I was like, okay, maybe it's no, ending soon. I, didn't see any I thought we would have ended by now. But now I've got okay. this. Okay, where long the bit. hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of bad. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. So long. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed right. they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and... You bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find just Nathan. Found a dead body and don't get too close if you see him. Pitches. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Why are you looking for Nathan? 
I want to make sure he's not gonna do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up to Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. It'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code? VIP section? Elitist bullshit. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. Oh, thank you for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. Bigfoot on Otter Action. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Go Nope, okay, I guess I eat. Don't worry, this is not me. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to you. Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. So I need help. for him so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. But now I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Oh, no. I am sorry Warren to listen to the movies. But you don't need to give me an attitude. I like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Yeah, yeah. Check to see if you can fly. Only with double your drone. Moon. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Yeah. Oh, Courtney. Oh. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> but seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so 
I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Oh, abuse section. That's what you know. No. Hey, Max. Oh, what are you doing? That shit. That is yeah, drink is drink is oh, Not God. anymore. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. Justin. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. You wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin, and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. But when I saw them together, I came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin. But you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool. Just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. The tide is turning. Chloe must be around. Gross. How did this even get here? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh. Good night, sweet prince. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. No, seriously, I'm out of here. Oh, and everything isn't so fuzzy. This to Yo. Uh, where? Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm. Yeah, good. Get full of this. So no one here can help. Okay. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Yes, you do suck. Okay. God, are you 
mental, you can't come in. So if I'll be able to load it up quicker. Okay, I didn't see that. I just saw some pushed up on the side. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. That VIP section is so lame. I heard they wouldn't let you part of the Vortex Club. All this shit. You did so much to my dad. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. That's hot. I don't know if Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Yeah. Max, look at you go, girl! Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother-sister. Or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Oxygen kit. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. Sorry, Max. I'm so 
Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a I'm teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play them. Look at me. I got the judge of the contest suspended. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds. But that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um... Text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. I'm glad I won. Oh, oh good. Chloe's here. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him today. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker room. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide in this. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. 
Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh -huh. well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, the, uh, the whole Kate situation. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh, Max. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want to this punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Still going. Out oh Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Bad idea. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Quiet. We could die, okay? Max! Chloe! Come over here, quick! Thanks so much for being quiet. Oh god, Max, look! Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe, look how what the fuck? No. Uh -uh.
<laughs> Rewind. for something. Totally wasn't expecting you to be there. I kinda did. Mm. I refused. Stopped. No one got hurt. Oh, Victoria. Okay. Apparently more people killed Chloe than uh, that. I don't know about Bougie. I didn't disturb the bird's nest because I've rewinded it. Did. Got Davis files another way. Can't help. I could motivate Daniel to go to the full text club. Okay. <laughs> That's one like more athlete and motivate Daniel. I wouldn't have thought of. Figured out Nathan's pin code. I didn't figure out. I helped the letter. Next time. Well, that was a very sad episode. But it's cool that the background changes depending on what chapter you're on. But I finally finished the episode after however long. I was only meant to do half of it, but it's good because I need to play this. But yeah, thanks for watching this very long puzzle investigation, all sad death giving episode. <laughs> if I could word it any better. But yes, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.